Then we move to my triplets. Um, so I have my Burt's, my Burt's, um, hand cream. Oh my gosh, I think that may take the place of my of my shea butter concoction. This stuff, oh, is so soft and it feels so moisturizing. Oh, that's good, okay. So I have that in my TSA. And of course I have my um, insect repellent. And my facial mist. Now I use this twice on my 10 hour flight and it was 10 hours because I flew from New York but yeah this it really made my face feel uh, moisturized awakened because it was beginning to feel dry so I highly recommend um, using facial spray and then I pat that on my face and then I came back with my Burt's hand cream, although it says hand cream, it's moisturized, so I put it on my face and it was easy accessible. And I have my black girl, my black girl sunscreen. Um, and it makes a difference because if you're a woman or a person of color, you know that the typical sunscreen out there. Um, leaves a white residue on our skin so that ain't cute and then this is the same thing it's a bug spray um, so I have the spray version basically I'll spray it you know on my clothes and sh of course some will get on my skin but then this I'll apply like lotion just double protection um, especially when I go ahead on the now cruise and then of course the Lysol spray I will use this and I will spray my bed and my pillow and um, the room, etc. Um, yes, I bought this. I still have used Sally because I didn't get to do my nails before I left. So, okay. And then deodorant and my Louis Vuitton um, traveling perfume. And some other um, sample size perfumes. So that's all that's in my TSA um, bag. So I had that on top of my personal bag. So if I needed to take it out, it was easily accessible. So I'll move this over here. And then over here we have the triplets. Now I am a Henry girl. Anybody knows? Henry Bindle, then they know what a Henry girl is. Of course, they're now gone out of business, but fortunately, before they went out of business, I was able to purchase their um, traveling set. So in here, I use this as my makeup bag. So I, I brought bare minimum makeup, um, of course, because it's hot and I don't want a lot of makeup on, but still, since I have so few clothes and so in very neutral colors I gotta spice up the look somehow then here in this bag the medium size this is my medicine bag so in here I keep things like um, my cough drop my airborne I start taking like two days before I arrive 
Then in here, I have a propel because it's like 100 degrees outside, and I'm sure I'll be doing quite a bit of sweating, and I'll be out there for some time, so I'll have to replenish my electrolytes. I have my Zyrtex and allergy pills, um, just in case. I don't have any allergies that I know of, but you never know in a different world. You know, headache pills. Um, Pepto-Bismol, um, Neosporin, Advil, and my Tiger Bomb, and let's see, well, I bought this just in case, especially if you're traveling solo, um, they usually have, let me show you these locks, well, the locks on the hotel door, but this just gives me extra security. And what else I have in here? Um, drama me just in case I get sick on the cruise. And in here I have band aids. Um, some more Pepto Bismol. I have Dayquil, Nyquil, and I have um, some alcohol pads and some gauze. So, prayfully, I won't need any of this. But just in case, I'll have, you know, the bare minimum to at least keep me calm or fixed up until I get back to the States. Now, this is my, the larger um, Henry Bindle um, uh, travel pack. I use this for my actual toiletries, everything else that I did not have to put in my TSA bag. So just the tissues, um, Q-tips and facial balm. And I use this washcloth to do a body scrub because I'm sure when I go out there in the sun and be sweating all day, I'm going to need a good body scrub to get all the dirt and gook off. And here, rather than bring a toothbrush and toothpaste, I use this two-in-one. This is... Um, I'll put the name of these things um, when I do my blog, but it has the toothpaste in the little toothbrush and it can serve as a, um, a flosser. So that's my toothpaste and toothbrush. And then again, facial um, facial cleansers. Just gotta keep my face clean. Again, we're in here, it's 100 degrees, it's not unusual. I'll be doing some washing again because I brought very few clothes with me, so I'm sure I'll need to wash some things. Razor, travel razor, and I use um, soap. Now, I only use a bar soap when I travel because it doesn't go against my TSA um, um, things that I can carry. And also, I use Dr. Bronner's bar soap because... This serves like three, four purposes. Not only is it a um, soap to shower with, I can also use it to wash my hair. I can use it to wash my clothes. I can use it to shave with. So all of that in one bar soap. So to me, this is one of the best things you can put in your in your um, carry-on. And then here's my little donut I bought when I went to Paris, but I use it to put in this is my little concoction it's not pretty but it serves a purpose is shea butter and some other things I put in here um, and I use this as my lotion for my body and I only use uh, I only need a little bit because um, it goes a long way and then I have my laundry bag so oh and also I have this is um charcoal and I use this to brush my teeth so again, it doesn't count against my um, my TSA bag, and I use it in combination with with this here, um, just to take care. You know, try try to take care of the pearly whites. I'll try to keep them pearly white because I drink my coffee. So that's it, guys. That's all I have as far as my toiletries. Um, My trifecta from Henry Bindle and my TSA, and also in my um, 
my personal bag, I have, I have my, let me put this over here. Sorry, and, and I may need them when I go to Morocco. Also, um, baby wipes. I also use this on the plane before I use my facial mist to cleanse my face. And also, um, not a lot of places have toilet paper. So this will be in my backpack when I go out touring. And yeah, because I bought this airplane. So... Yes, I'm that girl wiping everything down.